She's feeling better, but she's seeing like a cough. Yeah. That's why she's not here today. Amen. I certainly will pray for him and all others that are going through in their bodies. As we said, remember Sister Martha, the duck, that the Lord will touch her body. Mm -hmm. And uh, all those that are bereaving and going through, uh, that the Lord will send forth comfort. Amen. Bless our Bible study on tonight. And something be said or done to encourage us and inspire us. Amen. Mm -hmm. I always want to be inspired, yeah. inspired by the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot going on in our society, in our world uh, on today. Amen. Uh, so let us pray for the, for the world. Mm -hmm. Let's pray for our community, our society, all our uh, leaders and officials, mm -hmm. uh, that the Lord will uh, bless them, you know, that we will be able to live quiet and peaceful lives. Amen. 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 The Lord, we should be praying that the Lord put people in place, you know, uh, that that will help uh, our situations and things like that, not be uh, antagonists in the sense of uh, people that will bring down our communities. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. I want to ask the church to stay. Thank you, Lord. What I was trying to say is, Public officials are not going to be guided, right. so we can't look for them to be guided you know what I mean? in, in that respect. But we should look for them to do the right thing, you know, be decent. <laughs> so let's pray for decency. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your blessings, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for how you watched over us and kept us in, in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every soul that is here on today. Remember the men and women and children everywhere. Save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. We pray, Lord, that you will continue to help us to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would bless each and every request that's been made known to you. Remember men and women and children everywhere, Lord. Save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. And, Lord, continue to help us to grow. Help us, Lord, to receive of your goodness and of your greatness. And, Lord, touch our hearts and our minds on tonight. 
that we may receive of your Bible study. Yeah. Hallelujah. Teach us tonight. Holy Spirit, teach us tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. As we open up our hearts and our minds mm -hmm. and lean in with our ears to obey, to hear. Yeah. This we fought, pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. I'm going to preface my statement. Not, not, not all politicians <coughs> are godly. Not all of them are ungodly. Blanket statement. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right. Amen. We want to go to the book of Ephesians, chapter number two. Amen. We certainly, once again, I thank God uh, for his multitude of, of, of blessings. Amen. And uh, I also want to been on my heart uh, to reinstitute our, our prayer on Thursdays. Amen. Six o'clock prayer. So uh, those that have a mind, those that can and will, uh, come on out to prayer on tomorrow. Amen. And then hopefully we'll institute it uh, back on a regular basis. Amen. We should we should pray and have intercessory intercess, intercessory prayer. We should have intercessors in the church that pray on a regular basis. Yes. Amen. Yeah. To come together and pray. Uh, because, you know, as we know that our warfare is not carnal, and it's a spiritual warfare. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. So we have to fight things on a spiritual level. Yes. Thank you. All right. So we're looking at the Bible study tonight. Uh, tonight, we're going to talk about. Uh, our spiritual heritage, our spiritual heritage and a continuation of what God has done for us and what we have in Christ. Um, uh, the Lord is, is leading us and directing me uh, to teach, you know, some biblical principles uh, that we ourselves uh, may take for granted and we may not even know we have, and then, in a sense, uh, the enemy fights us about, it. you know, our status and our privilege in God. Amen. When, when, when the Lord saves you, when the Lord saves an individual, um, they're on a higher level. Amen. And sometimes in our minds, we may not feel like we're on a higher level, but your feeling and what God has done for you, uh, uh, I consistently say it this way, what God has done for you, whether, whether or not you feel that way, um, uh, uh, what he has done is more real than what you feel. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If someone uh, were to just stop by and give me a million dollars and now I'm a millionaire, I may not feel like a millionaire, right. but I am one. Amen. Thank you. Sometimes you may not feel like a child of God. Amen. But you are one. Amen. And God has done great things for you. And the enemy likes to beat us down in our minds because he's an accuser of the brethren to move us away from what God has done for us. Amen. To downgrade us, beat you down, browbeat you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We can't go for that. Amen? Thank you, Lord. We got to know our rights and know what God has done for us. And, and when you know that, then you operate on a whole nother level. Amen. Amen? You know who you are and whose you are. Amen? And what God has done for you. Uh, thank you, Lord. You operate on a whole nother level. Gives you backbone. Uh, makes you straighten up. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Amen. And, and when things come at you, you realize you're not alone. You got help. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, that's key, isn't it? Yes. Amen. All right. So we're looking at uh, Ephesians chapter number two. Amen. And um, let's start out with uh, verse number eight. Well, let, let's just read. We start with verse number 
one and read down to verse number eight. And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Uh, Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world. Notice, we're talking about your past. You don't walk that way no more. That, that means living a certain lifestyle. You don't live that old lifestyle. You've been changed. All right. According to the prince of the power of the air. Now, now you did everything that the enemy put in your mind. Now you resist the devil steadfast. Amen. All right. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Mm -hmm. All right. Among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. Now that word conversation doesn't mean talk. It actually means uh, your, your conduct, the way you live, your interactions, your intercourse, how you interact uh, with life. Amen? That's what that word conversation means. All right. And were by nature the children of wrath. All right. Now notice, notice she said, you were by nature. The, the children of wrath. And, and God, when he gave you the Holy Ghost, he gave you a new nature. Yes. Amen. Yes. So you don't have that old nature. In, uh, let me back it up. You, don't, you, you have a godly nature that's in you now that is supposed to dominate your life. Amen. Amen. Uh, and, that's, and that comes through the Holy Ghost and it's manifested through the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, read. We're by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Mm -hmm. But God, but God, who is rich in mercy, yes, for His great love wherewith He loved us. He loved us, didn't He? Yes. yes. And it's so much that God so loved the world that He gave. Yes. <laughs> All right, read. Even when we were dead in sins, uh -huh. hath quickened us together with Christ. Yes. By grace we are saved. All right, by grace you are what? Saved. Saved. Read. And hath raised us up together. Uh huh. And made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Now that's what I mean when I was saying that earlier that that you position now, you're different. Amen. Any man being Christ is a new creature. Yeah. Different. Uh, you, you're seated in heavenly places with Christ. You may not feel that way. Amen. Uh, but but it's nonetheless the truth. Amen. That's where God has seated you with Christ. Amen. Far above principalities and powers, uh, dominions and yeah. rulers, uh, far above spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, you're seated with Him. Uh, you follow me? And, and that seat represents a position of power and authority. Yes. Uh, amen. God gives you that. Mm -hmm. uh, and he brought that in Christ when he raised them from the dead. Uh, and then when he raised you from the dead, when you were buried with him in baptism, and he you came up out of that water, amen, 